everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have another meal kit delivery. This time it is Blue Apron. So let's check it out and see what's inside. This is how it arrives. It has some information on the freshness guaranteed, the handling and storage, and their food waste reduction. Blue Apron is packaged a little differently than the other unboxings I've done. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out and we'll go over them individually. So we've got, looks like lots of produce in here. taken the ingredients out of the top and here we have, have the ice pack and then packed between another ice pack is the meat, some grass-fed sirloin steaks, and then double packaged here is some chicken breast. On the side of the box were the recipe cards for this week and my recipes are fig balsamic chicken and one pot chicken and udon noodles. The first one is fig balsamic chicken but instead of chicken, I actually substituted the sirloin steak. So we are doing this one a little differently and it hopefully will tell me if you're substituting what to do different. Right, okay. In the recipe card on the back, it does say customize step number four if you chose steak. It does give you a different direction for the steak. So I'm excited. Let's see what the ingredients are. Here is the bag of knickknacks. So that just means the little small ingredients that we will need for this recipe. All right, we have buttermilk, weeknight hero spice blend, chicken demi-glaze, butter, diced Turkish figs, never had those. And the last ingredient is balsamic vinegar. The other ingredients for this recipe includes cabbage and some carrots and some red potatoes. So this one is supposed to take around 30 to 40 minutes. So we're gonna try this one tonight. First of all, I cut the carrots. I seasoned them with the Weeknight Hero Seasoning Blend and some olive oil and salt and pepper. And then I put those in the oven to cook for about 20 minutes. I did not even worry about the cabbage because I knew no one would eat that. So I left that alone. Meanwhile, I diced the potatoes and had those boiling for about 20 minutes as well. We started with the steak and we just cooked those in a pan with some olive oil. After the steaks cooked, we worked on the sauce. We started with the vinegar and then we added the demi-glaze and next we added the chopped figs and finally we added a fourth cup of water and then I let that cook for about three minutes and after that cooked for a little while, we added the butter and then took it off of the heat. Back at the potatoes, after those were cooked, we added the buttermilk and then we also added some olive oil and then we mashed those and added some salt and pepper and these actually turned out delicious. Here is the final plate. Everything was delicious. I really enjoyed the steaks. I'm glad we made the substitution. Here is the photo challenge. Of course, the original recipe was with chicken, but the sauce really tasted great with this steak and potatoes. The next recipe is one pot chicken and udon noodles. And this one is supposed to take between 20 and 30 minutes. And let's check out the knickknack bag. Here it is. Black and white sesame seeds. Ooh, Asian styled sauteed aromatics. I love this because they've done all the work for us already. It is a flavorful mix of ginger, garlic, and scallions. Some sambal oilic. I'm saying that completely wrong. Here it is. Don't know how to say it, but it looks good. Some sliced roasted red peppers, some soy miso sauce, and some toasted sesame oil. The other ingredients for this include the udon noodles, another cabbage. This cabbage is actually for this recipe. I don't even really love cabbage and it's in both of my recipes this week, but we'll see how it works out. Some mushrooms. I can't wait to make these udon noodles. The first thing I did was make the sauce. So I mixed the soy miso sauce 
with some water and I blended that together and then I added a little bit of the sambal olek just a little bit to give it some spice and after the sauce was mixed together I worked on the chicken which I started with the toasted sesame oil and then just added the chicken and I let that cook for about four minutes just until the chicken was cooked through. After the chicken was cooked, I put that on a plate to rest and use the same pan with a bit of the browned bits and I added some olive oil, the sliced mushrooms, and I just added those into a layer and I let those sit for about three minutes just until they were browned a little bit and softened. After the mushrooms cooked for a little while, I added a little bit of cabbage, not as much as they recommended, but just a little bit. And then my favorite part, the sauteed aromatics. Oh, those are so delicious. And then we added the red peppers and then I just mixed it all together and let it cook for about three minutes. After that was mixed together, the next thing I did was add the noodles to the pan. Next, I added the sauce. And then finally, I added the cooked chicken to the top. And then I mixed everything together and just let it cook again for about, I think we cooked it for about three minutes, just till everything was mixed together and the, the noodles were warm. Here is my finished bowl. It looks beautiful and it tastes as good as it looks. I topped it with the sesame seeds. And this was probably one of the biggest hits I have made in quite some time. There were no leftovers. Everyone loved it. And... Here is the photo challenge. I was supposed to cook it in a pot and mine, I couldn't find it. So I did it in that pan, but it was still delicious. We will definitely order this again. This was one of the best meals I've ever made from a meal kit. That was everything in this week's Blue Apron Box. As always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.